Tonight, a Layton High School parent is sharing concerns over communication during a school lock this afternoon after a stabbing during a fight between students near the school. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecker is live at Layton City Park next to the high school where this all happened. Lauren, what are parents saying to you tonight? Yeah, Dan, so parents are saying that when Layton High School over here went on lockout this afternoon, they had no idea what that meant, if the threat was at the school or what was going on, if their child's uh, children were in danger. What was actually happening was across the street here at Layton City Park, that there was a fight between students. They found that out only after watching the news and later and are now wishing that communication from the school came a little bit faster. Lunchtime at Layton High turns frantic. Yeah, it was scary for all of us. There were quite a few students like in tears, panicking from it. Sophomore Austin Johnner says an announcement came over the PA that they were going into lockout, but no one knew why. He immediately alerted his parents. Lockout, you think instantly, you know, there's a shooting or something going on at the school. This is not a drill. So I instantly went in a panic mode, like what's going on? No information. In the chaotic hour that followed, Eric watched the news for updates. He found out a fight broke out during lunch between a couple groups of high school students at Layton City Park across the street. A 16-year-old student got out either a knife or a pair of shears and stabbed a 15-year-old student in the upper torso, police say. The student will survive and police say they took the suspect into custody at the apartment he lives in nearby. Eric said he couldn't get any communication from the school until he received this email after the lockout was lifted. I just glanced over the email and I was like, a little late, you guys. He's hoping if there's another situation where it's not a drill, communication comes faster to parents so they're not left wondering, waiting, and stressing over their kids. I felt they could have easily got on that automated system and just say, hey, our school is on lockdown, all the students are safe. That reassurance would have been huge. Now, as far as what happened here at the park, Layton police tonight are still interviewing students, still trying to sort out what all happened. It sounds like quite a few students were out there figuring out who all was involved as far as the situation with Layton High School. The school did send out another email this evening to parents telling them what happened and that counselors will be available at the school tomorrow.